as a student, I have made a lot of mistakes, believe me. But the most frustrating mistake that I have made as a student is actually... Welcome back, I'm Max Fred and in this channel we're helping teaching and motivating students and teens with new videos every week because we are the future. So probably click on this video to know why you fail most tests. But actually, it's not about why you fail. It's about the most common mistake that I made and I'm still making as a student and how I stopped making those mistakes. So if you're really interested, keep on watching. I believe that you are a student watching this video and you can easily relate to the common mistakes that I'm about to talk about in this video. And one very common mistake that we students make on test is actually leaving an answer blank. There is absolutely nothing wrong with skipping a tough question to give yourself some extra time to think about it just as long as you remember to go back to the question later. The mistake here is forgetting to go back to every question that you have skipped. You have to know that a blank answer is always a wrong answer. And funny enough, we all forget of this, including Max Fred, including me making this video. So for me, for each, for every time I skip a question, I always and always put a check mark beside it. You will be surprised how many times we students choose two answers, okay, let me guess, similar answers in a multiple choice test. And funny enough, this automatically makes the two answers wrong. So to avoid losing a mark from this, I always review my work and make sure that each multiple choice question has only one answer ticked. As a student, I have made a lot of mistakes, believe me, but the most frustrating mistake that I have made as a student is actually having a correct answer on the question paper, but transferring a wrong answer on the answer scripts. <laughs> believe me, this has cost me marks. Now, the solution to this is I try as much as possible to double check any work I transfer from the question paper and, I, and also I try as much as possible to answer directly into the answer script because this is even time saving. Still talking about transferring answers, this is a costly mistake but one that is very very easy to make. Trust me, probably you've made this mistake before, you looked over all the multiple choice answers and picked the correct answer but you circled or ticked the letter next to the correct answer Char. No. that's why you really need to double check your answers and make sure that the answer you ticked or circle is the one that you really meant to select now whenever i have a test coming up i try as much as possible to understand the topics that the test will cover you and I knows that there are times when a teacher will test you on a specific topic that he or she has taught in class. And sometimes the teacher's lectures will cover only five topics. And the test will probably cover only three of those, two of those topics. When that happens, you can end up studying a topic that won't appear on test. So what I often do is I always ask teachers what topic to expect on the test. Some teachers will tell me why some brainy ones the brainy ones they won't one of the most common mistakes is it common it's not even common or let's say errors that i have made while taking most tests is actually not following directions whenever a teacher says compare and you actually define bro you are definitely going to lose max on that answer there are certain directional words that you should understand and follow while taking a test. And because this is a channel focused on helping students, I've broken down some important directional words that you should understand and know. So please listen carefully. Whenever your teacher says define, he simply means that you should provide a full definition. When he says explain, he means provide an answer that gives a complete overview or a clear description of the problem and solution for a particular question. When he says analyze, he means take apart a concept or a process and explain it step by step. When he says contrast, he means show differences. When he says compare, he actually means show similarities and differences. And finally, whenever he says outline, he means provide an explanation with headings and subheadings. And this was one common mistake. One common mistake. Why am I saying common? Actually, it's common because we students 
fall for this mistake. This was one common mistake that I lost a lot of marks to because I couldn't really understand what the words really meant. Now, are you among those students that forget to write their name on the answer sheet because of anxiety? Well, I am. Sorry, I was. There are times when forgetting to put down your name on a test will result to you failing that test. Because if the test was marked, who would the marks be given to? A test that doesn't have a name attached on it might be scored. But the question here is, who owns the scores? It's just like a lost property that doesn't have a name on it. Anyone can rightly claim it, right? So, to avoid this deadly mistake, I always and always write down my name first before I get started. I need you to write all these mistakes that we students make down in your jota. And if you fall guilty of any, just circle it and build yourself with the solution I gave on it. Was this video helpful to you? Please let us know in the comment section down below. And what common mistake do you make a lot? Please let us know so that we can interact as students. If you're a student and you're having problem with mathematics, just don't worry. I created a playlist of two videos consisting of why you fail maths and seven, seven math tips that will help you perform calculations more easily and quickly even without using a calculator. So click over here to watch those videos. And if you have a test coming up probably in five days, click over here to learn the best way to study for that test so that you can perform effectively. Thanks a million for watching. I'm Max Fred and in this channel we are helping to know motivating students and teens with new videos every week. I will see you in my next video. Have a great week and have a great day. Goodbye.